Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Hangman's Daughter series by Oliver Potch. The Hangman's Daughter by Oliver Potch takes place in a small German town in the mid-17th century, following a local hangman, his daughter, and the town physician, as they race to beat the clock to discover who is murdering children and to stop the hysteria of witchcraft from spreading. In The Dark Monk, book two in the series, Jacob Kusel, his daughter Magdalena, and the town physician Simon investigate the mysterious death of a local priest. Before his death, the priest was able to scratch a cryptic message into the snow, the first riddle of many that sends these characters on a chase for a hidden Templar treasure. But close on their trail is a group of mysterious monks who are after the treasure as well. Who will solve the riddle first? In The Beggar King, book three in the series, hangman Jacob Kusel finds himself on the receiving end of being tortured after he is accused of murdering his sister and her husband. It's up to his daughter, Magdalena, and the town physician, Simon, to figure out who is framing Kusel, which leads them to a network of beggars and encountering a flamboyant Venetian. They end up discovering a conspiracy that could threaten the entire German Empire. But will they solve all the clues in time to save Kusel before he in turn becomes the Hanged? So that is a very vague plot summary for the first three books in the Hangman's Daughter series by Oliver Poch. I think I'm butchering the pronunciation of his name. I'm sorry. If anyone knows how to pronounce this man's name, please let me know. <laughs> so something I want to touch on very quickly, just to make a note of, these books were not written in English first. They are translations. And I was a little concerned at first uh, picking these books up, knowing that they are translations, because translations can be hit or miss. Uh, you can encounter a series of problems with translations because sometimes certain things, you know, in another country won't translate well over into English. For the most part, I think these books were translated very well. There was never a moment that I felt like the translation was off or something felt weird, if that makes sense. So yeah, if, if you have a worry about translated books, I think you can go to this series not having to worry about that, because like I said, the, the translator, I think he did a marvelous job. And another thing, just to make a comment, uh, Oliver Potch, the, the author of this series, uh, he is a direct descendant of the the family in these in these books. Uh, the books follow this hangman named Jacob Kusel and Oliver Potch. His family has told stories through the generations, and he he knows about this this guy Jacob Kusel as one of his ancestors. So he decided to write a series of books based off of this guy, which is which is awesome. I mean, also just really awesome that his family, that they, they, they can trace their history from that far back. <laughs> so I don't want to get into specifics about each book. I'm just going to try and talk as generally as I can about these first three books in the series. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed these first three books. I thought they were really, really well done, uh, really good action in them, surprising amounts of humor, which I wasn't expecting. And the thing you have to know about this series, I think it's really important to note this, because you're either going to like this or you're going to hate it. The series is very very formulaic. And what I mean by that, even though you have three books here and there's there's different stories going on, the thing is they touch and hit on the same beats as far as the narrative flows and progresses. So yeah, each book, it, it opens up, you get whoever the unfortunate victim is, and then you lead into how Jacob Kusel comes in and how he's going to try and solve the murder. And yeah, then you get the, the middle and then you get the ending with everything being wrapped up. So yeah, I mean, these books, it's, it's like watching a crime drama, if that makes sense. You know, the formulaic nature of a crime drama, just put it in 
in a historical fiction book in this small Bavarian town. <laughs> but with each of these three books, uh, Oliver Putch's writing, uh, very fast-paced, he has a, a great way of storytelling and fleshing out his narrative. You got a unique set of characters. I really like the protagonist of this series, uh, Jacob Kusel. He's a hangman. You would think him being a hangman, he would be a, a rather frightening character to experience these stories with, but no. Uh, Jacob Kusel, he's, he's weirdly enough very lovable and likable. And he's very human in his core. He doesn't like torturing people. He doesn't like hanging people. You know, that is his job. He's meant to torture and hang people, do some very horrible, despicable things. That's how he makes his living. He has to do that. And yeah, he takes absolutely no joy from the things that he does. And I really loved and admired him about that with, within his character. And then one of the next characters we have is Kusel's daughter, Magdalena, and she is feisty. <laughs> That's the best word to describe Magdalena. She's very feisty. She can get a temper on her. She's definitely not your typical woman of the time period. She most certainly says what's on her mind. She's not afraid to confront authority. She's, she's not afraid to even confront her father when she has to. And then the third main character that we have in this series is the town physician named Simon. I definitely adored Simon. I instantly fell in love with him. He's he's this little guy. He's described as being really short, <laughs> like not average male height. He's described as being kind of short, but he's very well educated. And all the guy wants, he just wants Magdalena as his girlfriend, maybe marry her in the future. And that poses a very difficult obstacle right there because Jacob Kusel, he's a hangman and that kind of ostracizes the family from the rest of the community, including Magdalena. Even though Magdalena has nothing to do with the torturing and the hanging, she is still associated with her father. So, so yeah, Magdalena is not good for Simon in the in the eyes of the people, that she is beneath his station. So there's that interesting uh, concept going on within the book as well. So yeah, some very interesting characters that I fell in love with fairly immediately, though Magdalena, Magdalena does take some uh, warming up to. <laughs> I kind of didn't really warm up to her until about book three. And yeah, like I mentioned earlier about the series being very formulaic, uh, by the time I did get to the third book in the series, a lot of Oliver Potch's storytelling was kind of predictable, you know, since I had read the first two, I knew what his what his uh, narrative structure was like, so I would already figure out the ending. So if I had to rank my favorites in the series, uh, like I said, I've only read the first three so far. There's definitely a book four and five out there, but they've not been translated yet, and they've not even been released here in America, I don't think. But yeah, if I had to rank the books, uh, The Beggar King, book three, is definitely my favorite so far, followed by the first book, uh, The Hangman's Daughter, and then the second book, The Dark Monk. And you don't have to read these books in order either. It's like reading a Dan Brown book, you know, the Robert Langdon books. You can just kind of pick up whichever book and you're good to go. It's the same with this series. You can just pick whichever one up. It doesn't really matter. There's nothing that really entirely carries through. So yeah, I highly recommend this series if you're looking for a good historical fiction mystery series, and if you want to experience some different protagonists for a change. So yeah, you guys, in the comments below, have you read this series and do you want to read it? Let me know. So that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, you may like these other videos. Bye, guys.